guys welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is nick denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video and i post new videos every tuesday and thursday all about my faith god christ and expanding the kingdom of god and i do that through bible studies book clubs book reviews book discussions uh regular life discussions blogs and more so you guys notice i recently started adding that part into my intro just because i do get a lot of questions about what i offer on this channel and i do a bunch of different things so i figured that would be a great way for people to really see how i am offering um what not see how but see what i am offering and um see if they would like to continue on the channel but um first i want to say thank you to all the new subscribers like it, it's it's mind-blowing like god is amazing is all i'm gonna say um but this is a vlog and this is an unexpected vlog because i just got a package in the mail and i got this package like about 30 minutes ago i took some time to cry my eyes out um i sent the person a, a, a huge like thank you text um and i'm still dumbfounded and lost for words because god is amazing and that's literally all i can say um so just a little bit back you know a little background real quick before i share with you guys what i got as you guys can see the box um if you guys don't know i am a freelance makeup artist i have been doing makeup since 2009 um and i've done fashion shows i've done hair shows i've done photo shoots i've done birthdays and performances uh i've done makeup for like fitness models and things like that so i done i, I did a movie um i think i did a music video i honestly don't remember because i haven't done makeup in so long but i know for a fact I d i've done um a movie um and it was like one of those short film type of movies but um i've done a lot and i've also interned not interned but i was an assistant for a celebrity makeup artist who i still wish i could you know work with but because i'm a mom it was kind of hard so i had to stop working with her um when i got pregnant basically um, and she's still like one of my favorite makeup artists to this day but um, makeup has definitely been something that I've always wanted to do and I've always saw it as a career um, it was something that I did not get interested in until I was 18 um, literally I didn't start liking makeup until my senior graduation and prom when my cousin did my makeup for me um, my cousin did my hair and makeup for my prom and graduation and for some reason it sparked an interest in me for makeup I never really cared for makeup um, I was never a makeup lover in like high school or middle school. The most makeup I did was like lip gloss or chaps lip gloss and, and chapstick. <laughs> that was pretty much it. I didn't care for the makeup and the eyeshadows and the lipsticks and all that. I, I just didn't have an interest, which I'm, I'm grateful for um, because I didn't ruin my experience, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, it wasn't until I got turned 18 that I was interested in makeup. I went to college um, and then I started you know finding out about the beauty community on youtube and i got really interested and taught myself to do makeup through youtube now i do want to go to an actual like cosmetology or rather an esthetician school there is a school that i'm really interested in going to but going to <laughs> um an esthetician or a cosmetology school is just like going to a regular college with a, a really big tuition and um you know i don't have the funds to do that right now and i've always been praying to god about that but um i'm actually grateful that he's kind of not hindered i don't want to say hindered because god doesn't hinder you but i'm glad that he stopped me from pursuing it a little right now because it's just not the right time for me to do that um but yeah i've been doing makeup for a long time um i have a makeup channel which i haven't been on that channel in god knows how long don't know um but you guys can click the article to my beauty channel i'm actually working on cleaning that channel up and relaunching it the plan was to relaunch in september we don't know about that i don't know what i'm relaunch but i do beauty makeup videos on here and i correlate them with my book reviews and stuff like that but um yeah i had stopped doing makeup for a minute because i got so sorry guys i had got a phone call but um as i was saying i had stopped doing makeup for a minute because i just got so absorbed in it and um i be i began to turn it into an idol to the point where i was like consistently looking up gigs consistently looking up makeup jobs that i can do and i have experience working in um the retail makeup uh realm i forgot what they call it but i worked at macy's as an on-call beauty assistant um which meant that i could work at any counter that was open but the counters that i really like fell in love with was um lancome i was at lancome literally every single day that was my counter i fell in love with the manager and the, and the workers and everything and they were older women um so i worked at lancome i worked at estee lauder i worked at clinique um i worked at clarence for a little bit but um 
and Chanel. Those were like the five counters, five, right? Clarence, Chanel, Estee Lauder, Clinique, and Lancome. Yeah, those were like the five counters that I was consistently out, but more so I worked with um, Lancome a lot and fell in love with them. Um, but I worked there for about a couple of months um, from September to December. Um, and then I had to leave my job in January because my family was dealing with some housing situation. So I had to leave and obviously help my mom out with my siblings. Um, and since that happened, that was back in 2012. Since so, my last job was 2012 working at Macy's. And um, after that, I've always wanted to go back. And I was like zoned in on working there. Um, it was in 2013 that I got my position as a assistant, which was insane how that happened. I don't even remember how I found out about that position. Um, but I, I sent my work in and the makeup artist hit me back and said, you're it. And I was, that was like a god even thing. And I was literally around my birthday in 2013. Um, then I also found out that I was pregnant. So that didn't last that long. Um, so yeah, I was like, you know, after I have my son, after he hits one, I want to get back into working. And I tried doing it and I did everything, you guys. I mean, I did everything I could to get back to working and it just always fell through um i was going on first interviews second interviews doing the phone interviews but i never got that final like you got the job and the way that i got my job before with macy's was definitely a god-given thing because i went in for the interview the first interview and got it on the first try um and then the same thing with the makeup assistant i did that interview over the phone and got the job immediately from her so um definitely those were god now that i'm like looking back i know that like that was like a god given thing that was something that god gave me and me trying to get back to working especially in the beauty industry it, it just it's not a god thing right now so um, i took a minute off from doing any makeup because god had to really like pull me away from that because i was turning it into an idol literally was praying consistently for working at specific places like I remember the most devastating thing that really like smacked me in the face was I um, Morphe Cosmetics was opening up a store out here in um, Jersey in um, Garden State Mall which is where I used to work and um, I went I did the interview I did the job um, I did the actual audition they have you come in and do makeup on clients and um, the crazy thing is when I was doing it there was people on the side really complimenting me telling me I did a great job and pretty much to expect the call um and then two days later they called me and said um that they weren't going to pick me and i broke down crying um i broke down in tears because this was something that i really really wanted but um now i'm very grateful that i didn't get the job because if i got that job a lot of things would have had to change i would have had to move out of my mom's house i would have had to probably live with my son's father and um no telling what would have happened with that relationship especially since we weren't on we're not on terrible terms but we're still not where we should be if that makes sense um even though we love each other we're still dealing with uh especially communication issues on my end i don't really like to talk about my feelings and emotions i'm a very close off person um and we've been together now for eight years come september 12th so yeah uh and we're still in that kind of still trying to work it out phase and um a lot of people always ask me about my relationship because i talk about it sometimes and i'm gonna do a whole video on that because some people are quick to say you know we need to just get married because we have a son and it, it's it's not that easy um it might seem easy to you but i also listen to the voice of god and i'm not gonna just rush something just because um i'm listening to the voice of god and as i'm listening to the voice of god concerning my relationship i'm seeing things change for the better i'm not just going to get married to him just because we have a son or just because we've been together for eight years trust me i would love to have been married back in 2015 when i planned it i planned to be married in 2015 then i planned to be married in 2017 but my plans don't align with God's plans and I'm not going to rush it and I have to learn to be content with um, what God is doing in my relationship with my son's father. Um, we love each other immensely. We've always said that we were never going to be together just because we have a son. That is something we never wanted to do. Um, so we're in this relationship because we want to be in this relationship and because we still love each other we have love for each other and we're still in love with each other um so i'm gonna do a whole video on that my relationship because people are always asking me about my relationship so there will be a whole video on that because i have many thoughts and um a lot of people have many opinions and i agree with them to some extent but as far as like me marrying him just because no i'm listening to the lord on when to get married if that makes sense so yeah um my relationship with god is not the same relationship you have with god with my conversations with god are not going to be the same conversations you have with god so but yeah but um makeup 
like I said, that uh, when I didn't get the call, when I got the call from Morphe saying that I wasn't picked, it broke my heart. I was devastated and I was like, you know what, I'm done. I'm done with makeup, I'm done with it all. Um, and then I, I haven't really put makeup on, makeup on for over, I think, two, three years. Um, the only time you see me with makeup is if I, if I, if it's like I did a book to look makeup tutorial, and even then I take my makeup off after that. Um, it's not that I'm a, I, I don't like wearing makeup. I love makeup. Makeup is my life. Like I still do makeup gigs every now and then for like friends and makeovers and stuff. I actually have two gigs, one coming up this Sunday, um, for one of my sisters for her birthday, her thirtieth um, birthday, and then I have another makeup gig in September for a gospel recording with I believe nine people I'm doing makeup for men and women so um I still do makeup here and there but it's not as uh often as I used to like I was doing makeup shoots photo shoots literally like at least twice two three two three times a week okay and then my son's father is also a photographer so um when he has clients and they need makeup I, I'm his like on-call makeup artist for him so um I get paid through that um every now and then but again it's not as consistent as it was but I'm doing all this rambling. Anyway, I got a package in the mail, okay? A, a package. And it's full of makeup. And I literally cried my eyes out for a good 30 minutes before coming on here to make this video. I text the person and um, Leona, my sis Leona, sent me some makeup. And between Leona and Stephanie, I they give me my makeup fixes, okay? Those are my makeup sisters. Like, Mayo Leona does have a um, lash business. And um, I am going to put the information down below. I do have a video coming with um, information on her lashes, but I just haven't had the time to do it. But I wanted to come on and vlog because there's some things I want to discuss regardless. And this package was insane. So I just got this package. Um, now, there was a little situation with my package. I ain't gonna talk about that, but I got it. It's safe and sound. Everything is here. And um, I, when I opened the box, I cried because, first of all, this box is big, okay? Number one. This is a big box and it's full of makeup from Leona. Um, and she bought it from a black owned makeup business, which is called Dubious Place, which I had the opportunity to get Dubious Place makeup through Leona and Stephanie. Leona sent me a palette from them. And then Stephanie also sent me some palettes for my birthday. Um, and now I have more stuff, which I don't even know how to really express my gratitude because this is definitely a godsend thing and um the reason why i'm saying that is because for the past two and a half weeks i've been on juvia's places website um they had a sale not too long ago and i was like you know i really would love to get some stuff for my kit but um obviously with funds being tight and me having to really manage where i put my money i can't just go and do what i want and buy what i want unfortunately god's willing i can help him soon but um I just was looking on the website for the past two and a half weeks or so just looking at their their stuff and I do have a few of their palettes already like I said from Leona and Stephanie but um there were some other palettes that I just thought were really pretty that I wanted to try out um and I guess it aligned and um now I have okay so I'm gonna hold this up these are lippies these are lip products okay these are, I'm assuming, pencils or something. I don't know. I haven't looked at anything. And then I have this big thing here with palettes. Six palettes? No, seven palettes. So we're just going to unbox all of this together. I'm taking my scissors. Okay. All right, all right. So I'm going to put that in the box. box on the floor. okay so i'm gonna start with the lippies because like i'm loving this the lippies um i think I've, i have a few of these palettes already from stephanie which works out because then i can keep the other palettes in my kit but i don't know which ones are which so like juvia's place is gorgeous i just i can't i can't deal she she can't deal with it it's, their stuff is gorgeous um okay so I'm trying to figure out how to do this. <laughs> I literally have three of these palettes already. So that works out because now I can keep the others for myself and keep some specifically in my kit. But I'm going to start off with these two pink pencil thingies. I don't know what they are. They're Lux Liners. This is in the shade Scorpio. It looks like a brown. I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna open it. 
I think the one thing I don't like about makeup products is opening them. <laughs> I mean, I get that you have to make sure nobody stole it, but like, why I gotta make it so complex? All right, I'm, I'm just not because, yeah. Yeah, so this is a lip liner. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice dark chocolate color. So it's Scorpio. I love the pink. Pink is one of my favorite colors, but lavender is my favorite. <laughs> And then this one is called Lush. And I'm not even gonna lie, like today I plan to do a book look tutorial on um, Bathsheba because I really want to talk about that book. And then I got this package and then I cried my eyes out. So I might have to just do that tomorrow. <laughs> um, but, like I said, this one is Scorpio. And this is more of a lighter shade, which is really nice. I like that. I mean, this one is Lush. Sorry. So, the light one is Lush. This dark one is called Scorpio. I like it. Then I have some glosses and two lipsticks. So, I have two of the uh, nude lipsticks. This one is the chocolate, the nude chocolates. And they're velvety matte lipsticks. And this one is in the shade Toffee. And I love Juvia's Place. Like, yo, their packaging. First of all, they're all about black girl power. Like, <laughs> Yes, Black Girl Magic, and it is a Black-owned um, makeup brand. So, I just, I love their packaging. Like, the turbans, I'm here for. And then, like, you can see the different shades, um, which is gorgeous. So, I'm going to open this. Ooh. Oh, yes. This is it, darling. I like this packaging. The ombre peach to pink with the gold is really cute. Um, like I said, this one's in the shade Toffee. Oh, that is cute. I'm sorry, like that that shape is everything. I like this shape as well because it allows for easier application. Uh, that's the makeup artist in me talking, but uh ooh. First of all, that's creamy as it glides on, and that's a really pretty like brown. I like that. So that was Toffee. And then I have one more lipstick. I'm going to have a whole hot mess on my arm when I'm done with this video, but that's okay. This one is called The Nude. It's mauves, and it's a mauve moment. And again, the packaging is really pretty. I love the packaging. Um, I can't open it. Okay. <laughs> and again, you have that really pretty um, packaging on the lipstick tube really pretty and again it's called a mauve moment this one looks like that but um let's see how it swatches yeah that's really pretty definitely my type of like pinkish nude color so i like these i don't know if i want to put them in my kit or keep them for myself still debating um and then we have some glosses so these i have the i have four lip reflect glosses and then I have two of the glass glosses. So I'm going to show, um, it's electric. Uh, it's a glass gloss. I don't know what that means. But, yo, like I said, the packaging is always really pretty. It always has, like, the three women in their shades with the turban. We are here for it. It's called, it's electric. I don't really know what that means. I have not seen, like, I've seen videos on their, oh, she is gorgeous. Oh, I'm keeping this for myself just straight gold glitter that is really pretty this is the type of gloss you put on top of like a lipstick to add to the okay all right oh all right so uh i always smell lip glosses because sometimes they don't have a smell sometimes they stink it smells nice like you can definitely smell like that like not chemical um that like waxy gloss scent but um yeah so this is a type of gloss that you pop on top of another lipstick you guys can see like the gold reflects a little bit but glosses like these are the type that you put on top of um another lipstick but yeah glosses like these are the top are like top coats that you put on top of other lipsticks to add like some umph to it so i like that that's really pretty i have a few of those type of glosses in my kit and then this one is called so glazed and i'm assuming it's more lavender and if it's lavender <laughs> We know I'm keeping it. We we know this, right? Oh, 
Oh, that is gorgeous. It's like lavender pinkish gold. Just every... All right, let me just be careful because these are some huge... I like that the, 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 the brushes are huge. Uh, oh my god, I died for that. The makeup lover in me is like, yes, ma'am. Yes. Look at that. You could wear this on its own, but over top like this pink. Oh, that would be pretty. Like I said, the makeup lover in me is excited. I'm excited. Let me let me get some trash out the way. Um. And then I have the four lip reflex glosses. I don't know what that means, but these are really pretty. So I have like two nudist colors and then like two pinkish peach colors. So I'll start with this one. It's called Sis. She cute. Oh. She's cute. Like, I'm excited, you guys. Oh, that's nice. I will say, their, their tubes are like... Oh, gosh. Don't, don't come out. I don't want too much of the color. Um, I guess I'll put it here. That's nice, actually. That's really pretty. So this is in the shade um, Sis. Really nice, neutral. I don't know why it just looks a little bit more peachy on the box, but it's definitely really pretty. This one is called Kiss Me. Is this one more pinkish? Let's see. Yeah, this is more pinky. Again, I like colors like this because like, they're still pink, but they still give you that pop of like... I mean, they're pink, but they still give you that nude kind of feel. I don't even know where to put this one. Oh, yeah. See, me being the makeup lover, I would so mix this lipstick with this gloss and then pop that in, like, the center of my lips and use that lip liner. Yo, their packaging is dope. Like, not even just, like, the package itself. The actual inside of the package is really pretty guys can see this one is called barely there so this is a straight up like nude color this would be a color i would blend with other colors or use a dark lipstick a lip liner and then pop this on top i'll stick it here so that's barely there which is really like nude nude and then we have this last one, which is called Caramel Rose. And um, that's how it looks, really nice brown. Like I said, I haven't seen videos about their lip products at all, so I'm probably gonna have to go and look. Oh, great, I just messed it up. I hate when that happens. <laughs> but um, this one, yeah, this one would go perfectly with the other lipstick. So that's the um, lip gloss, and that is the, what lipstick was this again? That is the toffee lipstick, so that would go perfectly with that, and that other lip liner. My eye is, like, itching. But, yeah, I am loving these lippies and can't wait to use them. Alright, so then we, I gotta take this off my hand. Right, right. Um, my alcohol is over there. So I'm just going to use this alcohol spray and um, spray my hand and then take all this off. No staining, which is pretty good. Um, well, not that bad of staining with the lipsticks. Spray some more. <laughs> I always look to see if products stain. Um, no, not that bad. Not that bad, but I love those colors. Okay, so now on to the palettes. On to the palettes. Now, I know for a fact I have the violets and I have the chocolates. I think. Already. And I'll probably go grab those after. But um I forgot theirs are so I have to use my scissors. Actually, I'm gonna go get my exacto knife and then go get the other palettes and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so I had to go and get my exacto knife and had it somewhere else. And then I went and got the other palettes that I already owned. So I already own the chocolates, um, the violets, and then the berries 
from Steph. She had sent these to me for my birthday, um, which I freaking love so much. She sent me some other stuff as well. But yeah, I got this from Steph for my birthday. So these will actually stay in my actual professional makeup kit. Normally when it comes to eyeshadows, you can't, I do um, tend to use them in both my professional and my personal kit because I don't really use makeup on myself too often and I don't do as many clients. Um, and it's not hard to clean eyeshadow palettes um, because you literally can just use spray alcohol. And um, as you can see, these are not even used yet. So I can keep these in my um professional kit so i'm going to show those because i own them already but it's just the berries where's the berries oh this one and the chocolates so again i own them again and i already have them here and i'll open them up anyway so let me just uh open all of these so if you guys hear anything my neighbors are loud my neighbors are um caribbean and african so yeah um and i'm not saying anything like that about those cultures i'm just saying that they're loud um my neighbors are loud okay so we've opened those already i can put this back so let's go with berries since i already um so there's a packaging of that and is it this side or is it this side this side So we have two of the berries. Yes, I get to keep one for myself, which I'm loving. I'm gonna put this one to the side because that's going back in my kit. But um, these colors are everything. Like, so I like this pink. Oh, this pink and this are just gorgeous. And I like that you have a mix of shimmers. You have a mix of mattes. Um, I don't think any of these are like satin eyeshadows, but. And then we have the chocolates I'll show you because I already have that one on top. I try not to make too much of a mess because I still like to keep packaging. <laughs> I'm definitely one of those makeup people that love packaging. Like, if packaging is cute, I like to save it. Um, that's just me. But I have two of the chocolates. So this one is one of my kits. And this one is for me. And I love, love, love these shades i like this uh like taupey color is it taupey like cream i don't even know how to describe that but that color is gorgeous it's really pretty now i feel like this and this are like the same colors or not obviously this one is a little bit darker and this one has more purple undertones um but i feel like they could have put a different shade of brown in this palette because why um and then the violets is another palette that I already own, like I said. So, this going to my kit. This is for me. Pop that there. And these are some interesting shades. I love lavender, so you know I'm loving this shade right here. But these are some interesting, like purple tones or violet tones, as they say, in on the palette name. I wonder if they have like actual names for the colors. No, these don't have them. And I know that Juvia's Place is really well known for like their colors. There are a few palettes that I do want, so I probably will get those myself. Um, but then I have these four palettes. So I have the nudes. Oh, they actually tell you what they are? I'm a little slow. <laughs> Didn't notice that ever. Okay, so the berries is a sleek and beautiful hand-picked uh, rich berry colors to create stunning eye colors. The nudes are hand-picked nudes and rich browns. The the violets are um, hand-picked mauve tones mixed with radiant violets. And then the nudes are nudes and rich browns. So packaging is everything. Like I like how they keep the packaging the same, but they just change up the coloring of um, like the outfits. Like everything. Outfits are the same, but they change the colorings to match what the palette is. And I love that they have, like, the nudes here, the nudes here. You'll never forget. And even on the box, um, at the top, it says the nudes. On the bottom, it says the nudes. And on the front, it says the nudes. So, their packaging is cute. Oh, these are nice. These are really nice. These would not work too good on me um, because I am a little darker. I probably could get away with, like, all of these except for these two shades here probably like a brow bone but like on my eyes on my lids that wouldn't work 
um, but these would be great on my lighter complex complex is that the word lighter complex clients um, this is really nice I really like that color this looks to be pressed glitter whereas these two are like shimmer eyeshadows I want to see yeah that is not like it's not like you can like swipe your finger on you have to really press your finger in it's not glitter but it's um shimmer whereas with this I can just swipe my finger and pick it up I'm not swiping too bad but like that hopefully that makes sense what I'm saying makeup lovers know what I'm saying <laughs> but um yeah that's really nice I like that uh let me spray some alcohol and wipe my finger off oh that probably wasn't the best whatever um this one is the topes which is basically just taupe shades So, ooh, I like this. Again, you have that pressed glitter in here. So here's that pressed glitter. This is not eyeshadow, it's pressed glitter. Um, but these are the colors. This is an interesting, like, brownish gray color. Really, really interesting. I'm gonna go a little quicker. We have the mauves, which are soft mauve colors. So... Get out. Ooh, again, that pressed glitter. I don't think the other ones have that, like, pressed glitter effect. I don't think so. Let me see. No, I don't think these have that pressed glitter. No. So the first ones I showed didn't, but um, these do. But the mobs are really pretty. I like them. I like that color oh, so pretty and then the last one I have is um sweet pinks which is just pink shades really pretty palette um oh that is bright and that's coral I like this color this color is like she is gorgeous it's coming up a little brighter on camera because it's definitely coral in person. Like, this is coral, and then this is, like, a corally pink, and this is more of a peachy pink. These are coming up way brighter on camera, which I love the fact that it's doing that. But um, they're not as bright. And I think this is the glitter. Is this glitter, too? This looks to be glitter as well. This is definitely a shimmer. These two look to be pressed glitters. I'm not sure. But, uh this this I'm loving this color <laughs> do you guys see that gorgeous but um I'm excited I'm excited I'm excited I'm excited um for these palettes like <coughs> spray holes alcohol my room smells like alcohol now but yeah but um I'm going to quickly put all this stuff up and then come back to you guys to talk some more but um thank you 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 lay on like you don't truly understand how amazing it is and how amazing it feels um not just to receive things from you guys but when it's literally an answer to a prayer or a desire that I had in a personal conversation I had with God. Literally, for the past two weeks, I have been on the Juvia's website looking at stuff. And then I get a package from Leona from Juvia's Place. And I didn't even know Juvia's Place was in the same state as me. So, or at least their warehouse, wherever they shipped this from, is like in the same state, New Jersey, as me. So, that is pretty interesting. I didn't know that. But um, this has like hyped me up even more to get back into doing makeup. And I definitely will be taking this stuff with me Sunday because I'm doing my sis makeup on Sunday. So I'm excited. But like I said, I'm going to clean this stuff up um, and then come back and chat with you guys a little bit more. Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, I was supposed to clean up. I didn't. I was sitting down watching. I watched like two or three episodes of an anime. But um, 
yeah so i think i'm going to put on embassy worship i have not really been spending time with the lord as i should i need to do oh i need to do this one over yeah i didn't use gel when doing my hair so you know i'm gonna have to do these two over but um yeah i have not really been keeping up with my time with the lord um the way i used to and i miss doing that like a lot uh oh gotta unravel this sorry guys i'm trying to unravel this if you guys hear music that is my brother he is working on a song for someone so it might get loud i apologize ahead of time my brother is a uh okay i'm trying to get this out this is not out but my brother does um music for people um oh yeah yeah come on now how you get this out I had to tie it at the end so I'm trying to take out the knots there we go so I think I'm gonna put on some embassy worship while I do a little bit of cleaning up um, I have not used my planners at all in months months you guys even my faith planner I haven't used it at all for the month of August like I've just been so far off and my church we decided to my, my bishop and my senior pastor have decided to reopen um, the first sunday in september so september 6th we are reopening so i've been just doing a lot of things as far as like administration goes with the letters and getting paperwork and stuff done so um i have some work to do for that i have printed some stuff out from the cdc but i have to reprint it out because what i printed out was completely wrong how that hurts is it a little too tight but whatever um, and I'm just retwisting these braids. I didn't use any gel while doing it, so these are this is literally just the hair with my hair, um, and no gel. So I'm pretty sure if I would have used gel, it would come out a lot more professional. But I don't care. Just wanted to try out the Senegalese twist on myself. Um, I did get my hair done before like this, but I broke out really, really bad from the hair. Um, because at the hair salon, they use the hair straight out the package. Whatever hair they had, they use it straight out the package. And um, for me, unfortunately, I had a really terrible breakout to where I had little bumps on my forehead and throughout my scalp. My scalp started bleeding and the itch was severe um, to the point where I would cry at night because I was just over it. And I felt bad because my mom actually paid for my hair and it was like $125 or something like that. And I, I took it out within like five days or so. I don't even remember how many days it was I had it in, but I didn't keep it in long. And I had to take it out because it was severe. So with this, my mom bought the hair for me. I soaked the hair prior to um, putting it in my head. I soaked it in um, apple cider vinegar and then regular white distilled vinegar um, for about 45 minutes. And then I washed washed and conditioned it. And then um, I also don't have it touching my scalp. I have rubber bands in like most of these. But then the ones in the front are not rubber band in. So um I just wanted to try it out and it itches but it's not like a severe itch it's pretty much a typical itch that i get when um you know my head itches because i don't know but yeah so i just wanted to try it out on myself to see if i could do the senegalese twist and um i like how it comes out of course like i said i didn't use any gel or anything like that because i wasn't really particular but i think the next time i do my hair like this i definitely will use gel um, to keep it a lot more together because it hasn't been coming undone but um, because my hair is like different lengths um, it's been like my actual hair has been coming out so but yeah um, like I was saying I haven't done any of my personal study time I haven't done any of my devotionals for this month like at all outside of the one that I did for um, the book bingo but like personal devos and stuff have not been done personal Bible studies have not been done and I feel terrible about that um and you know most of you guys will tell me like um you know give myself grace but there's also a limit to how much grace i can give myself because i haven't studied the word of god personally by my, like for myself in months i ain't talking about like two months i mean like four plus months you guys four um i think the last time i may have studied was january 2020 we're now in august um almost in september and um god is literally trying like he doesn't like 
I'm not saying he doesn't let me sleep, but he literally get, tries to get my attention at night. Um, and instead of me getting up out my bed to actually read the word of God, I just lounge in bed and watch anime or I will read web comics until I get too tired. Um, and I mean, I'll be up to like four or five o'clock in the morning knowing that I'm supposed to get up out the bed to do what God is telling me to do, but I just don't do it. And um, it's I'm, I'm not going to, you know, say that's a good thing to do. It's never a good thing to ignore God. But I've just been in that state where I just I haven't been caring um and that's probably what's adding to the way i've been feeling like i've also been feeling a little off lately um and it's because i haven't really been sitting and communing with god the way i'm used to doing which is spending an hour two three hours um with him and this is not to say that you have to spend two three hours with the lord studying your word not at all but for me personally with my walk god knows what i can do and he knows um what i'm used to so because i know that i can and he knows that i can spend those hours with him in his word he's just like all right it's time to get back on it says daughter let's go let's, let's go daughter like but i just i haven't been doing it so today i actually want to take the time to um do some studying i'm actually gonna put on some worship music like i said i'm gonna put embassy worship on my tv um because i haven't even been listening to gospel music lately like at all i've been listening to a lot of afrobeat um and hip-hop um and it's not that i listen to music consistently but when i have been putting on music i've been listening to like i said afrobeat and hip-hop for as long as i can and then when my ears start that ringing i turn it off um so i'm just trying to take the knot out of this one to redo it but that is what's been going on. So the plan, and if you guys think I'm lying, let me show you guys my um, planner. So I set my planner up for August. Here it is. I set it up for August and I did nothing. This was for August 3rd to um, the 9th and it's empty, completely empty. So I'm just going to completely skip August. Um, I'm not even going to, and the thing about it is I normally would try to like backtrack and um, catch up. Like, I literally would play catch up and redo all the days that I missed, but I'm just, I'm not doing it. We're just not going to do it. I'm not going to do it to myself because I'm going to stress myself out. And um, it's okay to miss days, but it's not okay to allow myself to continue the way I've been continuing. So the plan is cleaning my room because my room is a hot mess right now. Um, my son did go to his father's. He's been at, he went to, well, his grandmother picked him up. My fiance, my, um, his father's mother picked him up on wednesday so he stayed over there and then thursday he normally leaves anyway to go to his dad so he's been over there he won't be back till sunday um i'm, I'm hoping he doesn't come back till sunday because i do have a client i was going to take him with me to church but i have a client sunday so we'll see about that but um yeah i just i need to get my life together all the way together and i definitely need to be prepared in this season mentally because there's so much going on with um what's going on in the world and uh you know there's <laughs> there's a lot of people moving in fear in this season and i don't want to be one of those people who moves in fear so i definitely need to make sure that i am getting up on my time with the lord like the way i used to and really staying in connection with him because i feel the difference when i'm not staying connected with him i feel so lost um i feel without and i feel empty and i don't like that feeling like it's even to the point where i haven't been playing my game you guys know i was all about the switch when i first got it and um it's not to say that the games aren't interesting but because i haven't been spending that time with the lord i just haven't had any passion for anything like at all i sometimes will forget to play my game and get on and you know so i i just know i need to really get on it um luckily my reading has gotten back to where it used to be because like i said around february march i completely fell off with my readings <laughs> um and everything and i know i just posted up my video of my september tbr and uh candy had uh said you know that i'm i, I should find balance but for me, reading is an escape. Um, and I'm not singling Candy out or anything like that. I love Candy, that's my sis. Um, but I just want to let you guys know that for me, reading, um, I read anywhere from 15 to 22 books a month um, on, a, on a regular basis. We're not talking about like when I'm on like the not reading phase. We're talking about my normal reading phase. I read about 15, 22 books. Um, I want to try one day to get to like 30 books, like read one book a day. I'm going to try that one day. <laughs> but um, right now I read anywhere from 15 to 22 books, which is pretty good for me. Pretty normal. I read pretty fast. Um, I read a book within three days, sometimes four or five, depending on how big it is. 
um and i'm reading multiple books at a time okay the problem comes when i feel like if i miss a day i feel like then i have to push everything back and i'm the type where if i make a schedule according to what i write down it has to happen that way um and that's when i get to stressing myself out but um, my reading has been great so i do have only one book left to read for the month uh, two actually to read for the month um outside of the devotional of course uh, that i'm reading for the book bingo but yeah i'm just trying to finish this twist here but yeah i'm proud of myself for doing my own twist they look pretty good um of course they could definitely look better if i used gel but i just wasn't about that life never never did i feel like doing that so yeah i pretty much like how it looks of course my hair is sticking out some twists are unraveling but that's okay i mean this was my first go and like i said i did not use gel whatsoever so i think for my first go this was pretty darn good and i definitely will try this again um, i think the next time i'm gonna do um blue with the black um instead of straight up purple but i definitely wanted the purple back in my hair because like the last time i the first time i got it done professionally done um i had all purple in my hair um but they didn't do it right and my hair was itching like crazy like i got a lot of itching in this section here which this section the, the the weave is not touching my scalp so it's just my scalp my scalp is in terrible shape ever since i did get it professionally done with the senegalis twist so my my scalp has been terribly terrible so i have to get my scalp back to where it used to be but um yeah i'm going to put embassy worship on my tv right now and um i'm gonna clean up a bit so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i might keep the camera on and let y'all see me clean i don't know because i have to fix my bed my bed is not fixed up at all i just threw the sheets to the side my bed is not fixed up at all i have clothes over here that i need to put up um but the problem is i have clothes here and clothes on a hanger but i have to get into my closet and to get into my closet i have to move stuff so it's a problem and then i need to reorganize my bookshelf um because i have it and let me show you guys my bookshelf real quick so here is the bookshelf um so that's the top and books are definitely double stacked um when i say double stacked there are books behind as you guys can see so all of these are double stacked and um it's ridiculous so i do need to fix that under that robe under this robe uh right here i have this hanger with like five shirts that need to go in the closet and be hung up but i'm just i don't feel like doing it right now um and i'm being real like i'm today is like lazy day for me it's straight up lazy day and then i have to prepare my planners for um the coming month because i have oh i didn't do my gratitude journal okay so i need to do my gratitude journal from last night i didn't do it um and i got these okay so this is a staples traveler's notebook um it's the gratitude one and it looks like this and i've been using this every um i plan to use this every night um so basically it's like today i feel someone who was in my thoughts today i'm grateful for one kind thing i did today and one thing i learned today i did not do this last night um so i need to the last time i the first time i did this was september uh 18th 2019 so that was about the time i bought this a year ago and then i have this one which is a traveler's notebooks from walmart um they're pen and gear ones and this is also a gratitude journal um it is set up like this so it's pretty much four days that you can do but it says today i'm grateful for it you put what you're grateful for and then going forward goals two things you plan to do for the day and then you put your mood i did get back up on this um yesterday um again the last time i did this was september 20th 2019 so i got it a year ago and i only did it twice last year so i'm starting it up this is from yesterday i need to do today um i didn't put my mood but i was pretty good yesterday so yeah i am trying to incorporate these into my journaling because i been i fell off with my journal my prayer journaling journaling in general and i want to get back into that so i have to do that um this is my reading journal which is almost filled up i'm proud of myself because it is literally filled up with like all of my reading plans for the i think this started in oh wow this is literally i started this um 2020 january so I have my reading plans from January up until August in here. Um, and like I said, I only have two more books to read, which are Pet, I'm currently reading right now, and then The Memory of Souls, both are fantasies, um, fantasy books. So I need to work on my September spread. I'm partaking in, I was first partaking in uh, 
three readathons, but then I decided to do another readathon like an idiot so i'm doing four but this one is a bratz readathon so it's like the four bratz dolls which i'm so excited about and um i'm just using the books that were already on my tbr i think that's the biggest thing um i know i said that i was partaking in like three readathons well four readathons now and then six book clubs but the best thing about it is that the books for one tbr fit all of the other challenges for all the things so it's, it sounds like a lot but because they overlap it works out perfectly fine which i am so glad that happened so um yeah i'm going to put on some embassy worship clean up a little bit and uh get back to where i used to be because i miss being where i was and um i do have some administrative work to do as well oh is the anime on today i don't even know let me check my computer and um i do have my computer set on my tv over here so i'm literally just checking to see if there's any animes coming on because i love anime okay i don't watch like regular tv outside of supernatural love it um but yep do got an anime i got a couple of one so i need to touch up on it but um i'm not gonna watch them today like i said my plan today was to do a book look tutorial on Bathsheba I ain't doing it today because I just I don't feel like it right now um so yeah oh fire tv updated cool oh and I also want to get back into this because I haven't um I started the first two days um I got to day one I got through all of day one and then I didn't even really get far into day two. So I definitely need to get back on this um, like ASAP. This is a six week study. So I am going to finish the first week this week and then make sure that I'm doing the next five weeks in September. Um, so that's also on my agenda for today. And this is the book that I'm currently reading. It is a fantasy book. <laughs> it's a big book this book is 640 pages if i'm not mistaken uh yeah so 640 pages but i did read the other first like the first two books in the series let me grab them so i can show you guys there's the other one i'm trying to grab it is this it sorry guys i'm just trying to grab the book because i had it so far down here but this was the first book really huge this is the second time i read this book because i had an arc of the first book um this book is about 580 pages then i read the second book already um which was about 600 pages and then then i'm reading the third book now for a review because actually my review is due september 1st for this um i had already read the first book but i had read it in arc which is an unfinished copy um so i finally got finished copies of this first and second book from the publishing company they sent it to me and you guys can tell i loved it i tabbed the heck out of these books so much um so i need to read this and i'll pretty much be done reading this on the 31st and my review is due on september 1st so that works out um and i have my days already split as you guys can see so um i just need to read this section for today which is like 100 pages 120 something high pages today um and i also did a review on the first book i need to do a review on the second book as well so i'll probably squeeze that in today um but yeah i'm going to get some cleaning done because my desk is a hot mess my bed is a hot mess i have clothes sitting on the floor and i need to just make sure everything is in order because school is starting like school is starting like oh my god school is starting i have not taken my son's my son um school shopping for supplies and um even though everything is going to be virtual at home i still know that from march until june he went through a notebook and a half because um i had him do all his classes in one notebook this time around he's not going to do that he's going to have different notebooks for each subject so he's going to have a notebook for english and language arts he's going to have a notebook for spanish he's going to have a music notebook because they actually do get music class where like 
actual legit work for well i might get him a folder for that not a notebook um but they do get actual work but they have to like listen to music they have to sing some songs and record themselves like they get music homework he gets spanish homework he gets science homework he gets gym homework like gym work you guys and it's not like just regular running around like they'll give them exercises where like each letter on the alphabet has like a specific assignment like jump 20 times or do jumping jacks push-ups or leap like a frog fun little activities like that to keep them going which my son loves um so i do need to get him some supplies like to keep in the house and some more arts and crafts stuff as well because my son is really crafty he loves drawing he loves making comic books he loves um making game boards himself like my son is really crafty which i pretty much kind of knew my son was going to be into the arts in general because my entire family were all into the arts like literally my father was my father's um a musician uh, my brothers are both musicians my sister is a singer and a musician i played piano and guitar and i sung and i danced my son is pretty much going to follow that my mother danced and sung so i mean my family is pretty um arty so i knew my son was going to be arty somehow um he's really good with drawing i took drawer I, I did art for like a year which i loved and then oh sorry guys somebody's calling me hold on so that was my t um, my sisters from church um they're going out next week and want me to go and i haven't been going anywhere because i don't trust people um <laughs> no nah, i'm not i'm like not to be funny but like honestly um i just have been personally staying in the house i haven't really been going out anywhere even though things are open just for my personal safety um i know that i have gotten sick when this covid stuff started happening um and then i recently just got better so i really haven't been out and about and things like that but um they literally just called me and was like we going to the beach i'm just like all right i'll go um i don't know if my son is gonna go because i just know like my son likes to go to his father's house every weekend so we'll see but um yeah i'm gonna go with them to the beach <laughs> i prefer to be in the house i'm a homebody but i'm gonna go um because i do miss my sisters i haven't seen them in months um since we closed the church and these are my sisters i go to church with that that, that i'm gonna dance ministry with like those are my sisters so i'll go um to the beach with them next week um which kind of clashes honestly with plans that i did have um but i can push those plans back possibly we'll see but yeah i'm going to get on youtube put on embassy worship and um get some cleaning done so i'm speeding up this clip now
guys so it's about four hours later <laughs> um i had a long clip of me cleaning but then i had to just take it out so i don't know much how much how much of my cleaning you guys saw because i did go through my makeup and i do some of my makeup out um i went through my personal collection not my professional kit my professional kit is pretty much good um but i went through my personal makeup threw some stuff out i really i just fixed up my bookshelf i think i'm gonna have to just get like give this bookshelf probably to my mom um and just buy another black bookshelf because it is bending but the thing is i don't want to go and buy another black bookshelf and then it be that small because i need it to be that big um so that is the dilemma i'm having right now i'm not sure if i'm gonna go to walmart this week and just to see um if they possibly have it possibly i don't know because when i went they only had like two of these left in this color so and i have like three walmarts i can definitely go to but i only go to one in secaucus the one in kearney i don't go to because the lines be super long we go to secaucus because secaucus is like literally in and out in and out in and out um there was one time we got there and the line was super long but we got in there within like 15 20 minutes the kearney one is very very slow like slow so and then i forgot what the other one is but um i don't i don't feel like going so i don't know we'll see if i go to walmart this weekend um because i did just I, I straightened it up a bit but i see that the middle portion is bending and i don't like that and that's scaring me um granted this is where i had that that's the shelf i had my bibles on so it would make sense that it's bending but i'd rather just be safe than sorry so i'm probably going to look into getting a new bookshelf soon real soon um but yeah i organized my makeup i put my personal makeup away um any personal makeup i had in my professional kit i took out i organized my lipsticks as well because i have a lot of lipsticks and lip products way more than um i don't know if i showed that clip but wait i have way too many for one person um because again i was doing um makeup videos on youtube so i felt like i always had to buy makeup but i'm at a point now where i don't feel like i have to buy everything and um it doesn't matter if it's high end or not because i can make a low end look look as expensive as a high end if that makes sense so i'm actually going to fill out my gratitude journal for today um even though i pretty much did what i wanted to do which was clean um i did make a video so that was the plan for today was to make a video but today is the 28th sorry if you guys hear that music in the back today is friday um what am i grateful for today so um I was grateful for just being able to wake up when I did wake up, like, as late as I wanted to. I mean, I didn't wake up till, like, 11.40-something, so I didn't make the video until about 12.30-ish or something like that. Waking up when I desire to. Like, having that ability, because not a lot of people are able to wake up when they want to. Like, my mom, she can't wake up when she wants to. She has to get up every morning at 4.30 to be to work by 7. Okay, um, I know some people who wake up at 3 o'clock, people who wake up at 2 o'clock, people who have to get up. Like, I have the ability, um, as of today, because my son is not here, to wake up when I want to wake up, especially since I pretty much work from home. And I'm doing quotations because I'm working, but I'm not getting paid for the work that I do, if that makes sense. So, yeah, um... I don't know what's going on with these nails, but uh, they're, they're not as sturdy as the other nails were. Same brand, but not as sturdy. And my top coat is coming off, so I'm just peeling it off because I'm over it at this point. We'll just keep them matte, but um, yeah, I'm grateful for that. Um, I'm grateful for answered prayers through my sisters and what I mean by that is like that gift that I got from Leona was definitely an answer to a prayer because I've been praying and desiring to get stuff from um Juvia's place and she blessed me with it surprisingly so answers for prayers through my DOI sisters Um, and there's three slots. I always try to put three, but sometimes I put two. Right now, I'm just going to put two. So today was clean and organize, which I did do, was my goal for today. I did that. Record videos, which didn't do. So um, let me mark. Yesterday, I was pretty good. So I was good yesterday. I wasn't sad. I wasn't happy. So 
I mean, I wasn't sad or like anything like that. Today, I'm pretty like feeling silly. So we're coloring the silly spot. Oops. Um, so gratitude for the day is done. My hand sanitizer fell. Um, and then this is for this evening. And like I said, it asks this questions like today I feel someone who was on my thoughts. So even though it says today, I'm going to say today I felt. So how I felt for the day. And I want to make sure I make a habit of doing it every morning and every night. Um, so that is that for today. Uh, my journal I did not do, but I do have the papers for my journal. So this is just all the paper information with like the books that I'm reading for each readathon and stuff like that in the rows so I need to put that in there for, um am I reading anything else no I can put my favorites here and then okay. I'm gonna stick this here because it's gonna go in this section here I'm gonna make sure I have all of my stuff together I need to actually cut these so getting the slicer so I can cut this and again this is like for the Bratz readathon it's like four prompts per card for per Bratz um I need to actually finish editing that video honestly because I started editing I just didn't render the video so I need to do that as well but I just want to cut this picture up because I'm going to glue these into my journal I like to keep track of my reading, like my thoughts and what I'm reading and things like that. And I actually started a new journal where I'm actually writing out reviews for videos because I tend to ramble on when I'm doing my videos, if you guys notice, um, especially when it comes to reviews. And I don't want my review videos to be too long. So I'm going to start making notes um, for my videos. I tend to not ha like to have notes or a script in a sense because I, I like to just free flow, but sometimes it's a necessary thing to uh, have something with you so that you are not rambling because my videos, I know you guys don't mind me talking so long, but um, sometimes I feel bad talking so long. So, all right, so these are cut up. I'm only doing really Team Sasha, which is like the black one, the, the black brats, and then Team Jade, which is the Asian brat, and then Yasmin, who's a Spanish brat. Um, Chloe is the Caucasian one, but I'm not doing her only because the prompts are a little bit more like hard hitting, where you have to read like books that are mental rap or um, mental disability rap or books that are thrillers and stuff like that. And I'm not able to read, so I'm really focusing on Team Sasha, but I do plan to do all of these prompts. So that is that but again like i said luckily this coincides with all the other readathons i'm doing so it sounds like a lot but the books obviously are meshed together um and then i also need to these are my prompts from all of the tbr jars that i've done so far for the month of september so i need to put that information in there um i can throw this out i don't need this it was for the video but yeah so I'm still listening to Embassy Worship and it's getting to the, the part of the album where it's strictly just straight up worship. You're worshiping the whole time. So I'm enjoying that. Um, what is this? What is this? Okay. So I need these. I'm going to stick these here. Oh, I also need to mark this up because I'm doing two read-alongs. Um, to, it's like a year long type of thing where they're reading through a series from specific authors so i'm a part of the cosmere along which we're reading through brandon sanderson who is like a uh he brandon sanderson is a um what you call it he's a fantasy writer and we're reading through robin hobb who is also a fantasy writer she's female um so i'm a little bit behind on brandon sanderson um i just need to catch up on one more book which i'll be reading for september and then i'll be oh i have a dilemma I'm just looking at the schedule. So for August and September, for September, we're technically reading two books. Mm. But I could work it out because um, the way they have it set is like, to, um, so basically from February to August, we pretty much were reading like one book every two months. 
um, but when it gets to September, that's when you start to read pretty much two books at a time. But I tend to read my books really fast, and we are going to be reading um, his uh, the Stormlight Archive series from him um, from September to December, and then in January when his new book come out. Um, I own two of those books from the Stormlight Archives. I own the second one on ebook, but I want the physical book. Um, and let me show you how big these books are, you guys. Like, okay, so like I said, I'm reading this book right here, and this book is about 640 pages. Not a problem, right? Not a problem. Let me just show y'all how huge this dang book is from Brandon Sanderson. And I mean, like, let me get it out. Oh, oh. Here's one book, right? Let me grab the other one. Okay, so we're gonna be reading his uh, Stormlight Archive series, which is a, I think it's a six book series, if I am not mistaken. I'm not like 100% sure if it's like six books, six books or 10, I think it is. It's a long series. It's gonna be more than five books, that's all I know. Let me wipe this real quick, right? Um, I got both of these from Barnes and Nobles at discounted prices of course because we don't pay full price for no books i, I just I, I can't see me paying full price except if it's tessa Aptra. so this book i paid um 19 bucks for but i did get the 30 percent off because i have barnes and Noble's card but um yeah this is the first book the way of kings which we're supposed to be starting in september and, and in october uh this book you guys is 1007 pages long and if you think I'm lying, do you see that tiny number? 1,007 pages. Okay? This book. Now, I don't I don't know how it's going to go with me reading this big of a book. I have read an 800-page book before and, like, well, that book actually took me some time because that was around my slump. Um, but I can read a 600-page book in six days. In a 1,000-page book, I would have to literally take, like, a week and a half. And I don't want to take a week and a half. So I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I don't I don't really I don't think I'm gonna do any like readathons for October November and December if I do I'll probably pick one readathon to like partake in because I really want to get these done but this book is a thousand and seven pages I don't know how much how many pages the second book is because I don't own a physical copy but I found this at a really discounted price I think it was like 10 or five dollars at Barnes and Nobles because this was one of those books that had the um little dot where you can get them like five ten dollars this book retails for $35, you guys. This book retails $35. I paid less, way less than that um, when they had their, like, special deal. This book is 1,243 pages. So, uh, I don't know how October, November, and December are going to go. Because, like I said, September and October, we're supposed to be reading this. September, I'm not going to read this because I'm actually reading his other book, um, which is the Hero of Ages, which is about seven, six hundred pages long. Um, so I'm just not like noticing because I have all of my stuff on this calendar because I'm part. I was partaking in a few different authors like readathons, um, readalongs, and I'm catching up on Hero of Ages because for August and September they were reading Warbreaker, which I read and I loved that. That was the first Brandon Sanderson I read. So I pretty much am up to date with Brandon Sanderson's. Um, adult fantasy i know he has like ya books i haven't read those yet um and then i'm also doing the elder ling along which is it's like three trilogies i think one two three four it's like four or five trilogy or four or five series that make up this universe that this author has created so i read the first two books assassins of princess and royal assassin um i am literally two books behind on this um yeah they started ship of magic which is the fourth book in the series with the first book in the new trilogy so i'm behind on that and i think i'm just gonna read that series as i feel like reading it um i'm not gonna try to catch up with that series because i'm honestly i'm enjoying the author's writing but the story i'm not as invested as everybody else is like people are like loving the story i'm not super invested or caring too much because it's like a coming of age fantasy and my fantasies have to have action there has to be magic there has to be political drama there has to be romance like the elder Lang along um robin hobbs books are more so the character coming into himself and i just i don't, I don't care too much for it so 
I need to catch up on that, but I'm not rushing to get through that. Um, if I don't finish it, I probably won't start. Uh, yeah, we don't know. But, yeah. I pretty much got what I wanted to do done. Um, I'm probably going to take a minute and do my reading for the day because I have not read yet. So, I'm probably going to do my reading. Um, and it's only 100 pages I think I have to read. I'm reading page 128 to... 251 so that's like a hundred and something odd pages so I'm going to get into that um this book is really good I'm totally loving it so far and enjoying it as much as I did with the first um two books I really love book one book one I gave five stars book two I gave no book one I initially gave five star but upon second reread I gave it 4.5 um and then the second book which is a sequel I gave uh four stars too. so I'm hoping this is either 4.5 or 5 because I feel like this series could definitely be one of my new favorites um but yeah, I'm not going to do much of anything else right now. I'm just going to get some reading done and then maybe do my planners later and definitely get into my Tessa Afshar um, book. This blog was not super long. It was pretty much chilled and laid back. Um, I just wanted to definitely do that unboxing because I was completely shocked with what Leona did. Like, I was not expecting her to do that and I truly appreciate her for that. I've been texting her all day about it. Um, and I cannot wait to play in those uh, products. It makes me want to like just do a regular makeup video. So yeah, look out for makeup videos coming soon on the channel. Um, I will be launching my beauty channel again soon. I just don't know when because I just, I don't know. I'm trying to get this to stay up without falling. Please don't fall. You're going to fall, of course, but whatever. Um, but yeah. I'm probably going to watch an episode of anime first. Then get into reading this book because I think I want to read while I'm eating and I don't want to eat right now so I want to do that and I want to sit on my bed as well but I really want to finish this anime because I'm almost done with this anime I'm on episode I'm on episode 9 and it's only 12 episodes and I, I have a thing where I start series like anime series I'm literally watching over 200 animes like not lying literally half well not 200 probably like 110 or something like that literally i'm in between that many animes because i have this thing where animes are not that long there's they're like 12 episodes some are 24 and i'll get to like episode 8 or 9 and stop watching the entire series because i don't want it to end especially if i know there isn't a second season i have this thing where i just i can't finish it i don't want to finish it it's I hold on to it and then start another anime and then binge watch that until like episode 9 or 10, start watching that and then watch a new anime and then I'll go back months later. So the animes that I've like recently been getting into, the new ones that I just found, I'm trying to completely binge watch them because animes are not long at all and I do speed up the audio. I'm not, I'm not I'm that person that will speed the audio up on movies, well not movies, I'm the person that will speed up audios on animes, audiobooks, um... And YouTube videos. I watch all my YouTube videos on either one point anywhere from 1.5, 1 to 2 times speed. So most of the time, I'll say 1.75 and then I will jump to 2 times speed. That's just me. I don't know why. I feel like the audio just clicks better in my head when it's sped up. But um, even when I, like, I'm watching my videos on YouTube, they're on 2 times speed automatically. It just it clicks in my brain. It works. So I tend to binge watch episodes within 2 hours because I'm watching them super fast and i'm skipping the intros because i'll watch an intro and an outro one time like the first time i watch the show i'm watching the full episode on regular speed to get the feel and then after that i just skip the intro and the outros and two times speed and i fly through the, the episode so they're only 24 minutes sometimes they're like 15 minutes i'm going through them within 12 minutes so yeah um but that is it for today i might do a read no i'm about to say i'm about to do a reading vlog i'm reading the books i don't know i'll probably come back on the weekend and make another video because it's, it's, it's just friday it's not the weekend weekend but it's the weekend like my weekends technically start on thursdays because my son leaves thursdays so that's my weekend but i might do a i don't know we'll see what i do if i make another vlog but um yeah i just wanted to come on and share that package with you guys because i was shook shook to the core um i probably will come on and do like a bible study with me video like turn my camera on and do a bible study with me like turn it on while i'm studying the word of god while i'm doing the um while i'm reading my book 
because I need to get back into resuscitating evangelism. It is so good. So while I'm reading resuscitating evangelism, while I am going through the Tessa Abshar Bible study, and then what I get into personal study. So I might do that tomorrow, like a straight up study read with me type of video where it's straight just music and me just discussing my thoughts of what I'm doing. That might be a video. Um, Cause I know a lot of you guys are like interested in how I study and um, my study is definitely deep. And um, I'm thinking about ordering the uh, Warren Worsby's commentary sets because I really want them. Like I have a few of the mini sets, like the B series, which is his commentary broken into series. I have a few of those on my phone as eBooks, but I want the complete like volume of the Old Testament and New Testament. And they have it on Amazon. I think it's like sixty something dollars, and I do have some Amazon credit thanks to you guys. Um, when I make my videos and like I talk about books, I do use Amazon and I know some people have an issue with Amazon. Um, it's this big thing going on in the book community with Amazon because Amazon pretty much steals from authors and stuff with how they are able to sell stuff cheaper, which I understand that some people don't want to support Amazon and you know, to each their own. For me, I don't have the privilege to like order things anywhere else because Amazon is cheaper and I get my stuff quicker. So I do use Amazon um, pretty much for books if I want them. If I don't feel like going to Barnes and Nobles or if I'm, you know, strapped on cash but really want a book, I will go on Amazon to get the book cheaper. And sometimes I won't really buy from like the Amazon warehouse. I'll use their Amazon marketplace where you can buy it from like thrift books or booksellers like that. But um, it's not, it's through Amazon. It's kind of like Amazon eBay, if that makes sense. It's like eBay has like different sellers or Amazon has their marketplace where you can buy books from as well from different people and I normally buy them from like um, uh, better books world books and thrift books I use on Amazon if I don't like the Amazon pricing I'll go a little cheaper only because I'm strapped for cash I don't really work I, I don't make money like that so I have to use Amazon so I do use Amazon um, links and all those links I do get a commission um, a tiny commission when you guys use it and because so many of you guys do click on the links or use them I do get um, commissions um, from them so I'm able to literally just save up the commission that I make to make orders on Amazon if I don't have the funds so I do have a few bucks um, it's not a lot it's like $23 um, on my Amazon account right now that I can use then I will have to fork up $40 so it's like I'm debating because I can buy the Old Testament, which is 30 bucks, and then the New Testament one is 20 something. Um, and I can order them individually and be it'll be like $50, but then you know, tax and all that. Or I can just get the collect like the, the two collections together, the two volumes together, and pay the $60 plus shipping, not shipping plus um, taxes. As, I don't know what I'm doing, but I know that's definitely something I want. I still want to get the Dakes Bible. My pastor, senior pastor, is very, very big on the Dakes Bible. That is the, the one Bible she suggested that we buy. Um, like, she gave us a list of stuff when we first started our ministerial classes prior to our ordination with, like, a list of things to get. And she had, like, study Bible on there. But she specifically mentioned the Dakes study Bible. And she specifically mentioned um, a specific uh, dictionary for us to get that I'm still going to get. The thing with the, the Dakes is expensive. Like, it's 70 bucks. $70 um and you know sis sis don't work so that might have to be a, like a Christmas gift to myself like I might just tell my son's father like this is what I want for Christmas I want this bible can you give me the bible um because I really really want that bible like so bad I know that my sis Jenny um made a video on the Dick's bible and you can click the i to go to her channel actually to her video um go to her video and then subscribe to her channel um but she did a review of the bible and it's gorgeous and my pastor swears by that bible um, that is her study Bible. Like, that is the Bible she goes to. And when Jenny did her video, I was, like, sold. So, I really want it. I'm not sure how much it is now, but I know before when I was looking into it, it was, like, 70 bucks. Sis ain't got that type of money right now. Not right now. And um, I know a lot of you guys are, like, always confused because I'm always getting books and things like that. And, like, washi tape and stuff like that. But the thing with that stuff is I'm not always paying for them. I get books sent for me for free. Like, I just received two books today as I was cleaning up from baker books i have a few more books coming in the mail because thank god for tracking um because i can track the usps app and um so i don't pay for a lot of my books like this book that i got with the other two that i showed you guys earlier i did not pay for these at all i received these from the publishing company so like 
a lot of the times the books you see me haul i'm getting i'm not paying cash for which is I, i'm very grateful for and um, i thank god for that because i love books and if i had to pay for these books i would cry because i got no money so you know and um for me it's like i always have to when i do get money i have to like really debate like is it something that I need right now? Is it something that I just want? And I can do um ebooks. I enjoy ebooks. I'm an ebook nerd. I have well over eight thousand ebooks, literally, like not not joking. But um, the problem is I love annotating, and you can't annotate with ebooks through Kindle, through the Nook, um, Barnes and Noble's Nook app, and then also through using other ebook reader apps. But there's something about pen and paper where I can like write and I don't think I wrote in here yet because I was just too, too into the book but there's something about pen and paper when I can literally write my feelings down like what I am thinking in that moment when I read the book is something about writing in it that I just prefer and especially when it comes to a specific type of book like um I'm noticing that when it comes to my fantasies and my biblical fiction I need physical copies but when it comes to like romances and things I don't really care if it's a physical copy or not I can just read the ebook or not but fantasies and biblical fiction I need like I need hardcore need a physical copy of because I annotate the mess out of those like writing up my feelings and my thoughts and everything um but yeah I also have a surprise giveaway coming. I'm not going to say when because it's coming. And it's going to be probably thrown in one of my videos. Um, I have a bunch of stuff still sitting in my house that needs to go. Like, I, I need to get it out. And I keep saying I'm going to do these giveaways. And then when I want to do the giveaways, I can't because financially, I'm not, I don't have the money to do it. Um, but I had the money to do this giveaway. So it is going to be a surprise giveaway. I don't know which video I'm going to include it in. And the point of this giveaway is for people who actually watch my videos. Um... And stuff like that i'm still going to do my three year anniversary giveaway but i'm probably going to save that for christmas time um or thanksgiving rather i'll do it probably in november so that people can have it before christmas um so it'll be a christmas giveaway three year anniversary giveaway but it'll take place in november i'm gonna work on that but um i have a bible study giveaway and i'll show you guys the products right now um while i can So, I've had this stuff sitting in, 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 like, in this envelope for a long time. It's been in this envelope for months. Um, and it's supposed to be an Instagram giveaway, but I'm just going to do it as a surprise YouTube giveaway. So, um, first thing in here is the Beyond Camp um, 30 Reflections from Our Daily Bread. I enjoy Our Daily Bread, anything that they do. So, this was a Christian Camp Conference Association. Um, I don't even know what year this was, honestly. But it's just literally just little short uh, reflections with scriptures and space to write and nice pictures. So I have a copy of that. I'm throwing in a copy of Cling. I still have several copies of this. Like, I've had, this, I've had these books for a while. I still have several copies. So I'm giving away a copy of Cling. I'm giving away this notebook set. It comes with three different size um, journals. And then I have... A set of samplers from Moody Publisher because I own I own pretty much all of their Bible studies except for two 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 Bible studies seven feasts and um the one on Jude I'm missing those two Bible studies but I pretty much own all of their studies and I know there's a third one a third new one coming out from Trulia Nouvelle but um I have a few of them this is not all of them um I don't think this is all of them I think I have some more to give away in another box i just don't know where um because i have like a bunch of stuff but i have these two four six seven to give away seven um so they're all samplers they're basically one week samplers so you get five days of um the workbook to see if you would like it um it's literally the first week so days one through five if i'm not mistaken i'm just looking yeah so you get the first five days including the introduction of each of these um so this one is if god is for us by trillia j newbell and it's a study of romans 8 which i think i started this i think i started this um but yeah we have that then we have he is enough living in the fullness of jesus by this author i never want to pronounce her name wrong she does have a youtube channel um but we have that and uh it's a study of colossians who do you say that I am? A fresh, a fresh encounter for deeper faith by Becky Harlan. It's an eight-week Bible study. 
um this one does come with a dvd if you want to order it then i have uh this one from erica wiggenhorn it's an unexplainable life rediscover recovering sorry an unexplainable life recovering the wonder and devotion of the early church acts 1 through 12 bible study she has um two 10-week bible studies going through the entire books of acts so this one is acts 1 through 12 and i think the other one is 13 to 28 i think acts has 28 chapters don't know I, I don't know um i am found by laura dingman this is quitting the game of hiding secrets god and others it's a secret six-week bible study sampler um, this one by Kim Erickson. It's a seven week study of John 13 to 17. You're actually going through the entire book of John, but she's focusing on 13 and 17, which are the last sayings, I believe. Yeah, what Jesus taught and prayed in his final hours. And then the last one is included in Christ, living a new story from Ephesians from Heather Holman. And this is an eight week study through Ephesians. So um, this will be a surprise giveaway. Like I said, I don't know which video and I'm not even going to mention. I'm not even going to mention like in the title, which uh, video like in the title it's not going to say surprise giveaway you're just going to have to watch whichever video i do next i don't know um but in the next few weeks i will have a video with a surprise giveaway for this and i mean when i say surprise it's gonna be surprise i'll probably throw it in the middle of all the content <laughs> because i really just want to give back um and i want to give back to people who really take the time to watch um, and support and I'm not saying that you guys all of you who are subscribed don't watch and support but you know I just want to do something fun and out of the ordinary and just hey surprise giveaway <laughs> um so yeah let me put this back over here so yeah that's pretty much it so I'm going to watch some anime play my game because I miss playing Animal Crossing and on my other games as much as I do. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm um, at 4.50 right now. So today has been pretty okay, somewhat productive. I cleaned as much as possible, as much as I felt like cleaning rather. Um, and yeah, now I'm gonna have a chill moment. Read, play some games, watch some anime. And then when I get ready to eat, I'll do some reading. Um, and then I will come on tomorrow. I'm saying come on tomorrow like y'all guys like y'all don't see these videos until like days a week later so I'll come back that's not what I'm trying to say I'll make a video tomorrow of, of me studying strictly reading and um it'll be Saturday tomorrow so that'll probably be a good thing to do on a Saturday um I still have that vlog of me getting back into studying the word this top coat is annoying I think it's because I put that primer on too I'm using I use gel top coat on top of my nails because the nails come matte and I don't do matte nails but I think because I use a primer on top I put a primer on before doing the uh, top coat it's just like coming off which is annoying so we're just taking it off because I don't care I don't really care I don't care at this point um, but yeah is it raining outside it's like been raining crazy on and off and then thunderstorming so yeah i'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day and i will catch you guys later but again to leona i know you're gonna watch this i already texted you we've been texting thank you thank you thank you so 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 much like truly and honestly thank you so much and your products that you sent me will be used of course your lashes i like i said i've been using her lashes on my clients so if you guys are interested in her lashes i will leave a link down below for you guys to check out her lashes they are bombs.com i've used the lashes in um one of my videos i don't know which video it was though i will leave a link click the eye to go to that video because i can't remember if which, I, I don't i don't remember which i think it was the one i did for daughter of rome by tessa after i think that video is the video i used her lashes in so just click the on the screen if it's not that video then it's the other one that i did just click the on the screen to go watch that video her lashes are gorgeous um and yeah i'm getting so sidetracked by pulling off this bag on um top coat yeah I'm, I'm gonna go i'm gonna sidetrack so thank you guys for watching rating comment and subscribing and all that great stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video bye